Welcome everyone <laughs> to probably yet another Jazz's Jazzy Art Books opening, I guess, first of all. Hello, my name's JB. Hi, um, I never post videos, but I wanted to do a video unboxing of this thing. I've been waiting for this for so long. I've been so stoked about this. And this af early afternoon, this did finally arrived. And ah, uh, basically, if you don't know who Jazza is, uh, Draw with Jazza is an Australian art YouTuber, and I absolutely adore his content. Yeah, I really wanted to do an unboxing of this thing, even though I'm a literal nobody, but I guess without further ado, let's get to opening this baby up. Alright, here goes. Ta da! It's silk paper! Yay! And there's a little surprise on the cover, but I'll get to that next. I can't really show everything at the same time because my desk space is kind of limited. Let's not worry about that. Let's see. There we go. So the thing about this box, it was personally curated by Jazza himself to include lots of multiple arts, uh, art supplies. I was super excited about any, everything here. It was kind of pricey, like uh, $100. I think the grand total with the tax stuff was 124 euros, which is a lot. But then again, I did look into these supplies and with their own, the, it, in the site themselves, they said that it would cost about the same deal to buy everything independently from Amazon I, and without all the shipping. So I figured like, yeah, it's, it's worth the price if you're into the supplies that are in here like i did specific like i know some people didn't like didn't look into what's gonna be in here but i wanted to be sure that this is absolutely worth the amount of money the other thing that was with this box is there could have been some randomized goodies basically well here's a thank you note let's get that out here's a smart art coupon code smart art was the company that helped create this box but that it was distributed through smart art and they offered a coupon code and there's a really cute colorful bookmark it's a little bit it's a little bit stretched uh <laughs> kind of a little bit bothers me but eh, it's really good thick like glossy cardstock i don't know anyway it's it seems pretty good quality and it's cute and colorful and i like it so and then this was the print that was included in every box. This is uh, artwork that he made using only the supplies in this box here. And now 50 boxes included a version of this with a handwritten signature. Also, there were five, I think, original artworks that could have been in the box, which I didn't seem to get, but that's fine. I didn't get this box for those, even though it could have been nice, but this is already beautiful. And it's some good quality print paper too. Even if it's not an original, it's still beautiful and you can still like see the texture. Okay, so the box itself. <laughs> Where do I even begin? Let's start with... It's a little bit underneath, so let's start with this one. There's uh, graphics fine liners with uh, four sizes. Actually here. There we go. There's a point. 0.2, 0.4, 0 0.8, and a brush. I'm really curious about the brush, and I'm gonna talk about brushes in a bit. Uh, usually I like having a 0.1 size pen, because I like making real small lines, but I guess it's useful to have a little bigger to get used to different sizes. 0.8 is getting real thick, and I almost never use a 0.8 on unless I have to do like bigger areas, or do like a basic outline or for something. Anyway, uh, I don't think I've used graphics fineliners ever before. Then there's a white gel pen, which is a Signo Uniball Signo Broad. Oh, that's a pretty big tip. I've seen a lot of artists use this, but I've never used this myself, so that's interesting. Then one of the things I'm super excited about is the Tomboy Tombo Tomboy. Wow, uh, Tombo water-based brush dual nip uh, brush pen I think well 
one is a brush pen that's a big brush that's a pretty stiff brush okay now i'm super excited because that's a really stiff brush and the other side is a bullet smaller bullet nib type deal we'll gotta swatch these and test these out then there's a faber castell dust free clean and soft erasing i haven't used a block eraser in a while it looks nice it's faber castell i trust faber castell a lot they do good good quality stuff usually kind of expensive so i don't bite that much but yeah and the dust free i'm curious to see how that works uh next up is this prismacolor color race this is also what i'm really excited about like especially like how easy it actually is to erase that's that and we have vapor castle polychromos hello there these i'm also super looking forward to how they work water resistance is much proof Ooh, that sounds fancy yeah i'm really looking forward to forward to how these work and like how dark you can get the colors or how soft you can get the colors obviously you can get some pretty intense colors with this with these anyway yes super looking forward to testing these out and seeing what i can do with them and how to use them in the future so now i get to this more or less main event is the spectrum noir illustrator i enjoy alcohol based markers i don't use them super a lot and i'm not like a master with them but i like how they are kind of super e easy to use even if you're just a beginner you can get like real cool stuff like i remember when i got my first i don't remember if they were copics or pro markers like i made that and i was still into anime art i loved how you just could put down the thick black line art and then do the colors and make kind of fake this cell shading deal and it looks so good even if the art was honestly crap back then it just it's so easy to make something look real good and nice with so little effort. That's what I'm all about. Like, make things look good with as, as little effort as possible. <laughs> I'm the laziest artist around. Anyway, yeah, this is the Yasa Smart Arts Essential Collector's Edition. Like, obviously you can get all these colors individually, but this box and these colors, this set, was specifically curated for this box and here's mr jazza himself in full gloss if you can see it yes yes looking fancy and dapper that's interesting that these illustrator pens or markers have a brush nib and a bullet nib usually they have a chisel nib um but to be honest i prefer this one because you can get more detail into the bullet nib and then this is just for broader areas and softer shading and blending and all that stuff so i have some spectrum noir markers they're not illustrator line but i think it's similar ink from a previous art subscription box and they're nice they're very comparable to i mean they're alcohol based markers there's very little that can go wrong with that i think they're mostly the same yeah, I think it's a very good set. They test the primary colors and some grays and some skin tones, some in-betweens to get started, and a blender. Yeah, here we have all the color numbers. There's a brush and super fine nib, as it says. Yeah, looking forward to seeing how this goes along. Oh, let's go with this one. This is so nostalgic, guys. Okay, hang on a second. I need to show you something. Ta-da! This is my old, old, old pencil, the exact same thing, except obviously seen a lot more use and a little different on the uh, etiquette, but it still works. The metal thing that usually holds the lid has gone inside there and I've long ago lost this little thing that goes out, but uh, it's so nostalgic to have a new one. I think I used it in like... Well, before high school, so upper primary school, like 7th to ninth grade or something like that. And it's so nostalgic. It's a, it is a good... Obviously, as you can see, it still works. So it is a very good quality pencil too. So it's gonna be fun to get to use this as, as a sketching tool. Oh, uh, let's take this last one. Here is also what I'm super excited about. This is the... Uh, Whatchamacallit? We had the uh, list of stuff that is in here. 
Uh, like here's the thank you card and behind is the list of everything that's included. This is the Fudenosuke, Tampo Fudenosuke brush pen in black. So I think this is a calligraphy pen actually, They're used for calligraphy as I think is what these mean. But I think somewhere when I looked at the items it said it was a calligraphy pen. Yeah, it says right here calligraphy pen, if you can see it. Yeah, there. So I'm super excited to see like how this works and how this... I've been... Okay, now that we have all these, I can talk about things I'm excited about with these, all these pens. Basically, I'm super into... I was super excited about trying out the brush pens because I've been trying to like learn how to use brush pens more effectively and like I just want to practice and learn how to use brush pens. The brush pens I do have all seem like really flimsy and soft and they don't really give keep like a consistent line. It's either it's either super thin or it gets really thick really easy because I'm I'm really heavy handed, I think, when it comes to brush pens. So I need a brush pen that's a little bit more firm so it's easier to control the line weight. But anyway, yeah, I'm... Ooh, there's... Is there like a ruler in here? Nice. Yeah, I think it's for like when you do like kanji calligraphy or Japanese or Chinese calligraphy. It has like the lines maybe? I don't know, I could be entirely wrong, but that's what it looks like. It Cool, I need to open this up and see what happens. But yeah, super excited to look through, look at these brush pens and how soft or like this already seemed real firm when you push it against. Only the tip is like flexible, but the entire body itself is really firm. Or maybe it's just because it's new, I don't know. Maybe it'll soften up. Anyway, super into, super excited about trying these out. Anyway, there's still more stuff in here. Here we have Express It Blending Cards. He didn't mention these, but there appears to be four blending cards that are like an extra item or a bonus item. There's no word about them in the list of stuff, and he didn't mention these when he introduced this box. So I think these were... This might be added by SmartArt, or maybe they just added a last stitch thing. I don't think I've ever actually used blending cards before. I do have some Copic paper, like marker paper, but I also use that very little. I just end up using like regular paper, which I know is not the best for alcohol markers, but you just put a paper behind it and it's usually fine. Laser and inject compatible. Ooh, you can print on these and then color it. Oh, that's nice. I'll open this up like eventually later. Uh, here's the pencil case that he was so stoked about. And... Ooh, that's neat. That's a neat thing. Eh. There we go. I never actually used pencil cases like this where you can stop things. I, I've used more like the little pockets, like my current pencil case is like this. I mean, first of all, it's adorable, but it's just basically this pocket where everything just is. And I like things like this. I mean, sure, it takes a little bit to get what you need, but I can just store a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm used to. I don't know. I could maybe use do what Jessa himself recommended and stuff some of these supplies in here and see if they're more convenient to carry around than that little watermelon thing even though it already has all the stuff I'm used to, so I might stick to it, but you know, trying new things, you don't know what you learn. And last but not least, we have the Hanemiu, Hanemiu, I think, uh, Nostalgia Sketchbook. It's 190 grams, so it's kind of heavy paper, and it's nice A5 size about. We'll open this up and see the paper. But I think the reason these were added was because Jessa himself mentioned that this is not really super suitable for uh, alcohol markers. Like you can use it if you, you just have to put a blank paper underneath the page you're drawing on because it will probably go through. So these were probably added to, you can get the full potential of the alcohol markers on this one so you don't really have to worry about that and see like how it works on correct paper instead of sketching paper. And I just noticed there's a little bookmark thing. That's so cool. 
Oh, and another thing. Uh, I almost never use hard bound or hard. I mean, hardcover, yes, but like bound uh, sketchbooks because I don't. <laughs> I'm always worried that it won't stay open or something. I'm more used to a ring bound sketchbooks. Yeah, I use a sketchbook like this with which ring bound. So, and you can just open it up and open it like this, and you have this whole sheet. And I guess the point of those is that you can like do uh, multi-spread sketches, but I'm I don't like doing those myself because I like having like the back of the paper clean anyway. So it's all good. It's fine. That is it for this. Box. There's bubble wrap. Yay! Oh, well, I know what I'm doing later. Later today. One thing we have is this thing in the cover. It's Jess's face, and you can cut it out and do a uh, use it as a selfie thing, and even set it. Put my face on your face! Wow! And I mean, I kind of do want to cut it out, but... I don't want to cut out this box. Hmm... Whatever shall I do? Oh, now I got it. Aha, I got an idea. Just wait a second. Here's all the things that were in the box. Without further ado, I guess I'll go to uh, time lapse mode and just open everything up and get the sketching and get to creating something. And let's see what I come with, come up with. I do kind of have an idea. And let's just say it has to do with the name of this box. Okay, let's go.
Thank you.